art people, this is my presentation on Julian Trevelyan. Whoa! Whoa! This is Julian Trevelyan. What do you see in this photo? What do you think he is holding? What is he doing with it? Julian Trevelyan. This is his artwork called Valentine. What do you see? Why do you think it is called Valentine? How do you think he made it? Julian Trevelyan. Here is some more of his work, which means his art. Which ones do you like and why? Julian Trevelyan. You can see in some of the early images that he made, some of the early uh, surrealist images that he made, some of the icons, the shapes and recurring figures uh, that came back in some of his later prints. This is Mad Landscape, one of Trevelyan's uh, later etchings. But you can see the kind of um, lots of the, the different symbols that he would use in, in some of those earlier works. Some of the, uh, the stick figures, the triangles and moons, the, these sort of strange keyhole shaped spaces coming back again in, in this later work. So here is some more of his artwork. What do you see in this picture? Do you like it? Why or why not? Let's see how he makes his art. Etching is, in principle, a very straightforward form of printmaking. The basic process is that you have a metal plate uh, that's covered in a hard ground uh, of wax and, and resin. You then draw through that ground to reveal the plate below using a needle, an etcher's needle or a burin. Once you've made your design, that plate is submerged in a bath of acid. Uh, the acid will bite into, it will etch those exposed areas of the plate and it will leave those covered in the ground untouched. That bitten groove in the plate holds the ink, which when the plate is then inked up and, and put through a press, um, is it, delivered onto the page. What do you guys think of this process so far? Do you remember anything that he's done so far? Let's see what he does next. It's a very slow and gestational process. Every uh, etching, uh, you'd be very lucky as a, as a printmaker to make an etching to draw onto the plate and it be ready from, from the get-go. There's an awful lot of reworking of making sure the etching has been bitten for the right amount of time, that certain areas have been uh, maybe bitten more than others. There's a huge amount of, of complexity and sort of deliberation involved in the medium. What Stanley William Hayter. Let's look at some more of his artwork. How close the river was to, to Trevelyan. What is this an art piece of? How do you know that? Though he contributed uh, directly to the British Surrealist movement when he returned to the country from Paris, Trevelyan... Why do you think he made artwork of jets and planes? Do you think he liked to travel and to go places? Um, those images of, of jets that we saw earlier in their sort of very um, uh, innocent and almost sort of childlike simplification. You can see the sort of the, the visual language that's being applied here. Uh, it's very different. Uh, the sort of a lot of those um, blocks of colour are now merging and, and sort of um, dancing around one another. The, the configuration is much less realistic, much less uh, straightforward. What do you think of this one? Do you like it? Why do you like it? 
what do you think it's a picture of? Probably a depiction of the, the scene in front of him and much more the exploration of, of hand and eye and, and brain on the plate. We have one more little spot to watch. Scraped and unbrushed and burnished areas, there is something quite sort of magical, almost alchemical in the production of an etching. All right, that's my presentation on Julian Trevelyan. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one. Bye.